Yo, 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 this your boy, The Real McCoy, coming at you, man. Talking about boxing for all my boxing heads out there, man. Um, I'm up here at, uh, at Walmart, man. I just got done putting putting new tires on, on my car. You know what I mean? It needed it. Things happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm up here at Walmart. I had to pick up a few things from Walmart. And one of the things I picked up, you know what I mean, is this here. You know? I, I know I'm months behind, man, but... I, told you guys man i'm just now buying madden you know what I mean? i'm just buying madden uh i've been busy this whole this semester man the classes i took two english classes this semester man um uh, i took law and technology a few of my pre-law classes all kind of essays research papers i had to do thesis you know what i'm saying all kind of all kind of uh if you took an english class you know what i'm talking about i took two just been busy and hopefully i got time to play this but anyway, man, what this video we're talking about, um, I've talked about this, this guy before, um, uh, safety first, you gotta, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, the, the monster from Japan, Naya Nui, you know, I've talked about him before, possibly fighting, um, Roman, Roman Gonzalez, it was Chocolatito, Roman Gonzalez, and from, from what Asian, because you know, he's Japanese, from what Asian boxing is saying, that he's gonna make uh, a new. He's gonna make his day de American, the U.S. debut, you know, in 2016. <laughs> Something I'm looking forward to. I mean, he he just fought, I think, the 28th, 29th against um, P P Paranis, Walter Paranis. You know what I mean? Wiped him out in two rounds. You know, this this guy Anui is explosive, man. Absolutely explosive. He's nine and oh, eight knockouts. Um, see, not had a lot of fights, but when you watch this guy fight, I mean, he's just absolutely explosive, man. Just explosive, kind of like a, a prime Roy Jones, where he was just wiping everybody out when he was on the come up. You guys remember Roy Jones? When Roy Jones was on the come up, he was wiping people out, man, with speed, um, skill, power, both hands, explosive, man. Uh, so he supposed to make his 2016 debut. I'm hearing um uh, H HBO, hearing HBO, and um so I, I I hear that he's gonna fight sometime in May because he just fought a few days ago, sometime in like uh, late spring early summer, and then hopefully that's gonna set up a fight with uh Romy Gonzalez El Chocolatito, you know Romy Gonzalez fights down at uh super flyweight, one twelve and Anui fights at one fifteen junior bantamweight so. I don't think the weight would be an issue, but I'm gonna say it right here, right now. If if that if that fight happens in 2016 with Anui and um, Chocolatito, that would be my most anticipated fight, no doubt. What are you talking about, man? Triple G, Canelo, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Tyson Fury and, and Klitschko could be doing a rematch. Anthony Joshua's next opponent. It could be Luis Ortiz. What are you talking? I'm, I'm just saying that. Roman Gonzalez in a new in my I mean, for me, that would be my most anticipated fight, man. I, whoa, I couldn't wait for that. I know a lot of um, a lot of boxing heads, you know what I mean. Once they talk about those small guys, you know, don't really know um t talk about those guys. Anybody under um featherweight, you know what I'm saying? But man, that would be an explosive fight, man. That would be an explosive fight. I know um a while ago, uh, uh, Team Anui, they they were saying that he they he's just. He just wasn't ready for a Roman Gonzalez fight, you know what I mean? At that time, he only had like eight, eight or seven fights. I know Anui's a last fight against Omar um, Navarez, one of the best fighters down at Bantamweight right now. Uh, Anui wiped him out in two rounds, just wiped him out, you know. And Anui hurt his right hand in that fight, and it's the thing, I think it's like right at right at a year apart, you know, right at, to the day a year. He, he fought December 2014. And he just fought, uh, just fought recently in December, uh, uh, right at a year. So, so he took a year off. He can't after off Navarez, Omar Navarez fight. And um, so, I'm I'm looking forward to him coming to the to the United States. I think all of his fights have been in Japan, I believe. I'm, I'm looking forward to him fighting. He's got a little brother fighting down at uh, if it's straw weight down at 105. Pretty skilled guy, hand speed. He just doesn't have the ex punching explosive explosion like his brother Anui, the monster, you know. Um, you guys, I mean, I, I've, I've done a video talking about Il Chocolatito, Roman Gonzalez, man. I've done a video talking about him, but he fights Anui. 
he hasn't seen anything like a Nui, man. You know, uh, good, good fight, though. That would be a good fight, man. But I'm looking forward to that debut, things like that, man. And, um, yeah, man, check, if you guys say check him out, uh, N-A-O-Y-A, -A, it's his first name, N -N Naya Nanoya, I, I can't say it. And his last name is Anui, I-N, I believe it's O-U-E. Anui Anui, check him out, man. This guy is explosive. It's only nine fights. He's 9-0 with eight knockouts very explosive man very explosive 22 years old he's already a uh, two division champion you know what i mean explosive a anyway let me know what you guys think man um all my boxing heads man uh i'm gonna go get me something to eat probably go to burger king drive through or something like that man mcdonald's i don't know uh anyway uh let me know what you guys think on my boxing heads man like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff and uh this your boy the real mccoy man i'm out peace